Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn how to use dictionaries in Swift language. A dictionary is used to store unordered list of values in our program. A dictionary stores values using key value pairs. If a value is of type variable, then it can be changed during the program or if the value is of type let, that is a constant type, it cannot be changed during the program. In this section, we will see how to create a dictionary, access a dictionary and modify a dictionary. Now, let us see a practical implementation of dictionary in our program. To create dictionaries in Swift language, first we will write the type of dictionary we want, whether we want a variable type or a constant type. So here we are creating a variable type of dictionary with name, name int equals to the key type followed by colons and then the value type followed by opening and closing brackets. So this is the syntax for declaring dictionary in Swift language. Now we can assign a key value pair to a dictionary by the following statement. We can give the name of dictionary. Inside the square bracket we can give the key name for example 6 is the key and followed by equal to and then the value that is related to that key. So now we have created a key value pair of 6 as numerical and 6 as a string. So this 6 numerical is the key and the 6 string is our value. Now we are printing slash n. After that this is a comment line and after that we are creating a new dictionary called airports which are of type in which the key is of type string and the value is also of type string. So here we have assigned some values like blr this is the key kimpe govda is the value after that del is the key and igi is the value separated by a comma again the next key and the next value and we can continue this for how and we can continue this for any amount of values that we want now we are printing the number of values inside our airports dictionary using airports.count so the airport dictionary has three items this key value pair is considered as one item only so like this we have three items so this line is printing the airport dictionary contains three items after that we are checking whether the dictionary is empty or not so airports dot is empty is empty is the function that is used to check whether our dictionary is empty or not so it is printing dictionary is empty false so our dictionary is not empty after that we are adding an element to our airports dictionary by airports brackets square brackets the key equals to the value then we are updating values airports dot update value for ij airport so for the key del we are updating the value as ij airport previously it was ij only so now it is ij airport this is how we can update a value after that we will see how to remove value to remove a value write the dictionary name dot remove value for key del so now we are removing the value for key del so the del head ij airport as a value so now del will be removed now we will see how to iterate over a dictionary for this is a tuple a tuple is a collection of one or more values so from this for we are returning code as well as name this is a tuple that we are returning in airports so inside airports we will return all the values now we will see how we can iterate over a dictionary for code comma name inside brackets this is a tuple a tuple is a collection of values in airports so airports is a dictionary print code and name so here we are printing the key as well as the value that is written from this airport dictionary so the output for this is blr kempegovda xyz dlds that we assigned in this line after that hyd rgi that is this value del ij has been removed in this remove statement that is why it is showing only three values this is all we will do with dictionaries thank you